Hello my friends, this is Gladys again coming to you to uh, continue with the working of our um, Disney theme album and I'm going to give you just kind of a recap of what we've done so far. Yesterday I was able to finish everything from page one and you probably think well that's just only one but it has so many flips and flops and and pockets and this and that that you know it becomes um, my goal is always to finish a page at a time and then um, I also did the matting for it because I want you to see the finished product even though at the end when we finish with the whole thing I will take a bunch of pictures but you know this kind of gives you uh, kind of whets your appetite a little bit all right so this is my front and I'm not sure if I shown you this I added this star and everything is from the uh, Cricut um, Mickey and Friends cartridge this one right here and out of the word Mickey there I cut this one's too and I put the, um, their dresses and also their shoes in red then I have bought this I don't even know where I bought it this little um, like Minnie and Mickey sitting down watching the fireworks then I put one of these in here a uh, film strips and as you come inside this is just the inside of my uh, front page. So I put some um, Mini and Pluto there, uh, some cards that are part of the same theme and part of the collection. I think it's called Simple Stories or something like that. Then <clears throat> this is what you see as soon as you open your page one, but this is really the back of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it and then you can start seeing all the results. I'm going to pull it this way. Somebody uh, left up a question on my YouTube asking what uh, cart uh, cartridge I was, I was using for this film strip. It is the same one, the Disney uh, Mickey and Friends. Same one. It's just kind of towards the back, but it's in there. And I did cut it at five, okay? So five gives you this whole thing in here. So if I open it this way, you got the pictures. Now these pictures are done chronologically. Uh, this was my first time I've been to Disney. Um, we went to Disney on our honeymoon and we went to other places, but that was one in the list. So that's my first trip uh, to Disney. Uh, then we had a second one and then a third with some friends when my oldest daughter was um, just a baby. So these are all very, very old pictures. They're close to 30 years old already. And as we continue, we put some pictures of the same same trip. And if you open this, remember our big old pocket or insert. Also, again, this is the second time. Second time, we didn't have any kids at the time. Um, and then this one's right here. I just matted everything, and then I put the paper too, obviously. And then over here, I just added also the same pictures from those trips. So up to here you will see that it's the first two vacations that I've ever taken there. The first one in our honeymoon and the second one was with um, a couple of friends that uh, a couple that we went to. I also cut some ephemera that I had laying in my computer and I went ahead and printed them and just insert them at different, you know, randomly anywhere like this one right here too. And I'm going to go ahead and put all these images on my Facebook so if you guys want to download them and use them, print them and download them, I mean print them and use them on your projects, it's just fine with me. I matted all these pictures with black card stock and the bottom is this um, brownish or um, burlap look um, paper. All right, and then close this. So as you open your your page, this is the first thing you see. But if you can understand now, is really the back part of page number one. And then I cut this one right here. Now I don't remember what size I cut. I think there were six, but let me. No, there were there were. Uh, excuse me, four. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still battling with allergies. Um. Anyway, so I think I cut them at four. And he gave me this, and I used my very large uh, round punch. <clears throat> Excuse me, that is. Wait, let me drink some water. My throat just got really dry. Okay, so this is a three and a half inch punch right here, and I use that to cut some of our, our photos there. And these two frames are from. They're Cricut too, but I don't have my cartridge here with me. Oh, I think it's small talking frames. That's what it's called, something like that. Anyway, so I cut those. This, this is also lovely, and this is just stars. And when these stars come off, when you do the cutting, I didn't throw them away. I just go ahead and put them in here, and I thought they looked really, really cute. Okay, so now we've 
uh, still in the back of page number one, but from here on, I'm going to, it's a different period. So I'm beginning with the vacation that we, when we took our twins <clears throat> years later. And as you can tell, let me show you here. There they are. Oh, the glare is awful right there. Those are my twins. That was our first time going to Disneyland. We took them to, let's see, Universal Studios. We took them to SeaWorld, obviously Disneyland. Um, they didn't have the Adventure, the California Adventure Park yet. <clears throat> but anyways, we went to all those places. So from here on, we're going to begin uh, with that because I do have my photos that I'm going to start, you know, putting in there. Right here I had a, a Mickey head, a head with a red hat and then I put Goofy in there. I cut that in also with my Cricut and just because of this uh, pictures of my girls. I put up one film strip there that I cut out in, in um, kind of a craft color and then I put a uh, like an anchor there uh, that is backed by um, brown paper so it's turned out good. So now what we're going to do I hope I'm not boring you, but um, now what we're I already have all my pieces cut out to begin on um, page number two front. And I'll show you what we have in here. You're going to cut, you're gonna need two pieces. These are the ones. You're gonna need two pieces that measure, and I wrote it down in here. Um, 11 and three quarters, actually 11 and a half, I'm sorry, by seven. And then once you have them, you're going to score one inch in here on both papers, okay? Then you're going to put tape, and then I'm going to do my um, my trimming for the corners. You know how we always do that? Snip the corners. And I've already burnished it, so now I'm going to put it... I am going to cement it to this part of my page. So it's going to be a flap that kind of opens like shutters almost. And I'm going to put it there, and right there, and voila. So see, there you go. It keeps the other one. Now, we have one more. If I didn't drop it. Oh. Mm, did I drop it? Oh my, what did I do with the other one? Don't you love this? Let me find it and I'll be right back. Because I had it just here with me. I don't know what what did I do. Okay, well that's the little flap. And it's not in here. Okay. Well, let me be, let me go find it. I'll be right back. Sorry friends. It had gone on the bottom of my my counter here, which if I had tried to do that on purpose, I wouldn't have been able to. Okay, and then you couldn't see it very well. All right, so we're going to be trimming over here too, these corners, so they can look like that, okay? And I'm just doing my burnishing. This, we're going to put it on this page, okay, at the edge. So just flush to the page like that. So I'm going to remove my tape. And I kind of use the, the edge of the paper to kind of form a rail. And that way I don't have any bubbles or anything that shouldn't be there. And there it is. So when you open this page, you're, you're going to see this and then it's going to be open in this way. Okay, now I already also have my insert that is going to go here. This one's always are going to be measured at 11 by 11. And you're going to need seven of those. So I'm going to go ahead and do my my little corner distress and this one I'm using the scallop by We Are Making Memories and that one goes in here then I cut out a piece in here to make a pocket here so that's right here and this one measures I don't, you know, for pockets, whatever I have laying down, that's what I'm going to cut. I don't have a, you know, if it's half an inch here and different, the, and the next one is a quarter of an inch bigger or longer, I should, I should say. It's, it's not what I'm, I just take care of the height and then everything else, you know, whatever, whatever I have available. But this one in particular measures five by seven. So a piece that is five by seven, you're going to need seven of those too. We already did the front one, remember? Let me show you here, this pocket right here. 
All right, so let's turn that around. Then you, you score half an inch and th three way right here. So I'm going to get my score tape. It just kind of helps you if, you if you know you're going to have seven of them, just cut them and get them ready. Uh, that's what I would do. Not that I'm doing that right now, but, you know, I'm not, um, I'm designing as I go. In a class setting, I would just tell you to, you know, there's so many pieces of this ones you're going to use, might as well. Okay, so I'm going to get my scissors, and we're still going to angle this one. Start, my, my starting point, obviously, is my, um, uh, my score line, where they meet the two of them. Okay, and then we're going to obviously burnish there it is then once we have done that I'll peel the back of the tape and we'll just add it to the bottom yeah, I'm telling you it's, it's a really funky thing to work with a big album but it's gonna be awesome okay all right there it is it fits just perfectly and it goes in here and i already have my tab that goes in there and then i'm going to use my mickey mouse head to put them in here as little tabs as we done before okay so now what i'm going to do is oh, where is my jumper i am going to cut the corners of this two flaps right here those two because i got the paper ready to go It's a good investment to have these chompers. They're not cheap by any means, but they are wonderful and they are heavy duty, you know. Okay, so I was going to use this right here and this other one in here. And I was trying to put like a Minnie or Mickey in here. Okay, so I'll need my corner chomper again so I can cut out this one. Oops, not that one. I'm telling you, I was having so much trouble with uh, with my um, tapes to upload. I finally did it, but not the way I usually do. So it, it was a little longer, but it, you know, it, it did. Um, so I don't want to keep my videos longer than 15 minutes because it's just an issue to, to get them there. All right, so there it is. And now we're going to start putting tape. Well, it would be kind of nice for you guys because if I if you don't understand something, which is very understandable with these allergies that I got, and um, you know I had a had a pretty bad headache the other day, and I ended up in ER. So, but okay, so that's our first one, and now we're gonna go to the second one. Give me a second here. I got I got a phone call coming in. Just a second. Sorry, my friends. My husband was calling. He's uh, he w went to the valley. Okay, so second one is gonna be here, right there. Oh, come on. Let me see. Ah, don't stick yet. Not until I'm ready. All right. So there it is. So that's the front. A page number one and I also cut out the piece to cover our insert and I've already cut those corners with the chumper now I'm going to cut the paper because it's already cut to size but it doesn't have the, the scallop look so we'll go ahead and uh, put some tape um, somebody else also left a message saying, I mean, I don't mean to ignore e e anyone by, by any means, uh, but um, I just can't remember names all the time. But I will, I do read the comments and send, ask uh, where was I getting my stuff. I pretty much get everything at scrapbook.com since I live in Arizona and I can go pick it up. Uh, plus, the other thing is the fact that they are pretty well stocked. And I don't have to, you know, it's very seldom that I don't find something there. 
so and they, their their prices are quite quite competitive so I don't feel bad okay there it is Isn't that pretty and that goes obviously in here now we're gonna find what I'm gonna do now is do some uh, cuttings I think I'm gonna do the strips again I really really I am in love with those strips they're they're really pretty even if I don't put pictures on them I'll you know maybe you can use them for journaling or anything like that I'll do some cutting get some more paper to go in the back in here and I'll come back to finish page number two take care